Okie dokie. <laughs> Look at all them Christmas bulbs. <laughs> I know. I'm crazy. So I better get going, huh? <laughs> I had to laugh at myself now. Because I just looked at them and I turned on the camera and looked at them and go, oh my gosh. <laughs> anyway, we're going to pour on some Christmas bulbs. You can use either plastic or glass, don't matter. You can use kebab sticks. You can use those little popsicle sticks. You can use these little thingies. Um, uh, preferably to try to get your paint out a little thicker than warm honey. Okay, so maybe like cold honey. <laughs> Just a little thicker. Uh, yeah, because it don't run as fast. So, some of these are not completely straight, but that's okay because you could just turn them the other way like that. You know, and they're not gonna always be completely straight sometimes. And you want to clean your bulbs with alcohol, rubbing alcohol, any type, don't matter, 50, 71, 91, don't matter. Just to get off oils from the fingers if you have lotion on your fingers or anything like that, or dirt. And that's about it. You use whatever medium you prefer, whatever you have. You can even use glue all. Glue all and paint and a little tiny water to thin it down. And mine are mixed with two parts Floetrol, one part paint, and a little bit of water to thin them down. Some of them are a little thicker, some of them are a little thinner. Um, some of these are leftovers from my last pours. Well, a lot of them are. So I figured, well, I could have grabbed red and I could have grabbed green, but I didn't do that. I just grabbed a couple extra colors, threw them in with my leftovers here. You can just do just about any type of pour you want. Uh, you can pick it up and you can pour separate colors. We'll do that too. Do ring pours, go back and forth, jiggy jaggy. When they are dry, you just let them drip dry. You don't have to wait a week or anything for them to, you know, completely get like, because they're thin. They drip down, so it's real thin. So as soon as they're dry, then you can either coat them with resin, pour some resin on it, rub it around, which is awesome. Or you can use uh, Rust-Oleum. rust, -oleum. rust -oleum. I always say it wrong. Rust-Oleum. Yeah. Triple thick glaze. It's a clear light glass coating. Which I do all my bulbs. Most of them. And, or I prefer the triple thick crystal clear glaze by Krylon. Okay. So here's one I've done with that already has gloss on it. You can see it's real pretty. Okay. I have had this one for two years. And I live in Arizona, so it's like super hot. Like, And they go in my storage room. So it can probably get up to about 125, 30 in my storage room, I'm sure. So how I store them is I just wrap them in parchment paper. That's it. Put them in a box or I put them in those popcorn tin cans, you know, that you give people for Christmas. This here is that deep brown, um, metallic deep brown pearl. And I kind of know exactly how much you need, probably up to about here. That's it. Earth tone here and some 24K gold. Very little. And some black. Very little. Just layering them in my cup. So I might skip over sometimes. I'll show you the first 
layer how I'm doing it, and then I'll skip. You know, she don't have to be completely mine. And you know it's straight when it wobbles like that. We'll do a ring pour with this one. disappeared <laughs> and then you touch it up you take a stick catch some look underneath touch it up so I'll be doing that too let's do some let me put these colors over here so I can look at them all <laughs> I have five Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen colors. So let's go with some regular white. Or is that the metallic? No, that's regular white. And pink tourmalin. And cerulean blue. You can hold it still. <laughs> That's pretty. All right, let me touch that one up. Whoa, look at them cells. That one's pretty. I love that one. All right. Next color. Let's do black and white. Regular black, artist law flow. Some white. <laughs> Shake it. Touch that one up. Now always gonna change. Okay. <laughs> so fun. Next one. Let's see. That's turning gray though. That turned gray. Okay, dioxazine purple. Some white. And gold and lake blue like a back and forth thing let's see how that works Touch that up. It's got a lot of bare spots. Okay, that one's cool. I like it. This cobalt blue, metallic cobalt blue, metallic white, pearl purple, metallic. Mm, love cobalt blue. <laughs> I guess I got it. <laughs> All right, I'll touch it up. Okay. I turned that light on in the back. I'll take the camera around when I'm done. Gosh, I love this one. 
I'm gonna go with that pink tourmaline and the a metallic blue and metallic white. pretty. Hope you guys are seeing it. I'll touch it up. Oh, big spot. my stick oh that's so pretty okay greenish blue yes the Amsterdam greenish blue what would go good with that hmm some gold and metallic white oh I've zoomed in all the way no it wasn't Sorry. Oh, I put too much. All right, well, that'll look pretty. It is pretty though. Oh. Alright, let me touch that one. Let's see, what colors haven't I used? Because I only have three left. <laughs> uh let's go regular white and some ultramarine. I'm pouring too much in there. And that pink tourmaline. And dioxazine purple. Let's go back and forth. Oh, geez. And then this way. That's pretty. All right, this time I'll do black and white again. But I'm gonna use more white. Okay, let me touch that one up. Am I in the camera? Yeah. Dioxazine. Pink tourmaline, metallic white, so I'm just moving it around, letting the paint swirl like I do the vases. It's going to take a while, so I'll just let that 
do its thing too. Okay, let's take a look at them. And then I'll let them dry and I'll spray them and we'll show them to you dry. So we'll go quickly so you can see them. That one kind of plain, but that was just the brown and gold. Very, very metallic -y. Hold on just a second. Push these cups out of the way. Turn this there. Okay. That one is really pretty. So is that one. This is pretty. That was the one where I added a little too much black. Still cool though. Oh, look at that one from that side. That one's going to be neat. That's the one I swirled. We'll come back to that side, too. That was pretty. Lake blue, purple, and white. Oh, let's see how that one looks. They're still pretty, though. That one's good. Oh. This one's real pretty. That greenish blue and gold and metallic white. That one's good too. Okay, now we'll look at them from this side. Oh, that's pretty. Look at the gold in there. Now that black and white one turned out good. That's the one I swirled. The little paint wasn't mixed up good enough. That's what that is. There we go. So stay tuned and we'll look at them all shiny under the camera real good without me moving around too much. I know this was bad set up. I apologize for that. Yeah, but best I could do. <laughs> so stay tuned. Okay, so I just thought I'd show you because I thought my tree was kind of plain with just the bulbs and the beads and the lights. So I added some of those red bells. I think it really finalized it. And I'll just put a few uh, candy canes on there but I have to add a little more candy canes on this side <laughs> but the bells really are pretty but I have the lights off because they always kind of make it hard to see the ornaments you know anyway I thought it was pretty with the bells isn't it I really did it anyway this was my son's Tanner's when he was born it was cute. Put some of my favorites on there. Daniels. And a dog. <laughs> that was my mom's. And this is cute. This is as merry as I get. <laughs> and just a few extra little things here and there. What you doing, Tanner? Well, this one's not hanging right. How come? What happened to it? That was my small ones. Well, we'll put it right there. So, yeah, now I got some more, to, just a few more to put on around the back and stuff. Because I don't want to clutter it too much. Anyway, I thought I'd just show you how it looks here. I'll plug it in real quick. Uh, turn that little box on. I love my tree though this year. Oh, sorry, let me plug this in. Yes, yeah, see how as soon as you plug it in. Oh no, you can see. That's pretty. It's because it has a light on. Isn't that pretty? 
All right, so we'll get looking at these other beauties. Okay, here they are. So, uh, when you spray them, sometimes they'll swirl on your stick. You know, if they're not stuck to the stick. So, just make sure you get even coverage, you know, underneath. Go underneath first. And then sides and around. Do you want to try to, if if possible, maybe stick a piece of hot glue to the inside and make it stay still on the stick. <laughs> if that makes any sense. Because it'll swirl and you want to get even coverage. But I managed to do it. And then if there is some spots that look kind of dull, you can go back a second time. And make sure you spray from a good distance. Oh, about six inches, maybe even more, seven inches away. Because then you'll get drip marks. Anyway, let's check them out. So, I did one thing different. And as soon as I turned off the camera, I kept looking at that one. Remember the pretty one? Like this? That was just that color. The whole thing was this color. And I was like, that's boring. So I took all my leftovers in the cups, poured them all in one cup. Am I focused? And uh, went ahead and poured over this one. But look at that. So what I really love about these is how they always look around here because they drip down. So that was the first one with all my leftovers. And excuse my hands, because they're, like, horrible. Isn't that pretty? That was the first one. Yeah, they always look the coolest that way. And I don't know if they're in order. This one is super cool. And they're shimmering. But see, every time I go too close, you can't see the shimmer. But let me just try something. Yeah, that works better. Pretty. That's beautiful. And the one that I put a little too much black in, but it's still cool though. Very cool. I smudged right there. Accidentally touched it. That's so cool. That looks like uh, one of those crazy lace stones from Mexico. That's so cool. I have to show you my crazy lace rocks. This is so pretty too. my nails. I didn't clean them real good last night with my brush. Oh, that was so pretty. Like you know, these turned out really good. Probably going to replace some of them on my tree. I was kind of thinking this one was boring looking at it, but it's not. It's pretty. This is with that cobalt blue. so cool the way it does that. I love how they do this. This one is amazing.
Which one was these all? Oh, ultramarine, purple, and I don't know. That, yeah, the pearl, purple. So yeah, you can put a second coat. Cause you can tell sometimes like right here, it's not as shiny. So I needed a little bit extra there, but like I said, keep them wrapped in parchment paper, not wax paper, and they'll be just fine through through heat, through humidity, anything. That's cool, man. Make sure you mix your paint good too. This is from how it drips. I'm not sure why that. Oh, that's the top of the bulb. It has that mark in it. Each one does. Look at this one. I am going to do a painting with these colors. That green. Which one was it? Where is it? This is what it was right here. It's called Prussian Blue. It says Thalo. But actually, it's like, a, yeah, that's a Prussian Blue. But it has that greenish. I thought that was the uh, greenish blue. I mixed up on that. But look at that shimmer. Isn't that beautiful? Gold in there. 24 K. K. <laughs> 24 K. 24 K is awesome. <laughs> this is cool. So yeah, I still have like six left because I forgot. I, I knew I had more of these. And I found them out there. This is the swirly one. Isn't that cool? Hey, you can do all kinds of stuff. I saw somebody blowing on them. You could take your air pressure thing. There's so many different techniques you could do on these, but I never think of them. I should have done that, too. That's pretty stuff, ain't it? <laughs> They're pretty. So, I might add a few more bulbs to my tree. Yeah, I like my tree now because those bells look pretty on there. That just it needed something. It was so bare. And uh, just a few more candy canes on the side. But anyway, these are so fun to do. And I'm going to name this video How to Pour on Christmas Ornaments. Because I think I covered a lot in this video. Oh, my kitty likes to lay under the tree. Hi, Sophie. And she said hi. Okay, so I just thought I'd show you those crazy lace. They're so neat. Uh, we're not focused. Let me zoom in and see if it does. There we go. Check that out. It's so pretty. I love these. Love rock. Ain't that something? That's not a choice because I never did get around showing you. And then I have this one. It always reminds me of Ain't that something. It's all kind of minerals in there that make those colors. 
Look at that rings. It's a trip. So, okay. Anyway, I'll take some photos of them, post them to the back of the video. And I appreciate everybody watching. I hope everybody's doing awesome. Staying safe and staying happy, most of all. Do what makes you happy. Stay positive. So I'll catch you guys later. I'm going to start working on a resin bead coaster. I have some pretty gem to put right in the middle. And I'm going to make it copper. I'm excited about doing it. So take it easy. Bye-bye now.